anything. And I was, I was feeling like I don't need that. I even don't want that. I was feeling like free. Okay, this part. And yes, it's, it's, it's in some way it's an advantage. But um, when I started, um, restarted my path, my spiritual path for the, I don't know, 11th time or whatever. Well, I learned that imagination is really a very helpful power on the spiritual path up to a certain degree. If you work in the astral and causal planes, imagination is essential. Yeah. And um, there, there is a, an essential tool when you imagine a spinning disc or wheel or fan or whatever. This is a, an energy transformation harvesting method that um, is based on imagination. And I guarantee you, if you try this to practice this, then you will be able to imagine because mm. you will get help from the spirits. Right. There, is a, there is a part in our brain or maybe even several parts that are related to this ability to uh, imagine things. Mm. And some people have this ability like blocked, or you could say maybe even not developed, but, but my personal conviction um, is that certain people like you and me, they are not allowed to imagine mm. because imagination is creation power. And if you create a thing in your mind, then in the spirit world, it gets real. Not in this world, but in the spirit world, it's very real. Yeah. And the spirits in, in your body, in your microcosmic body, they, they perceive it. They are in your imagination reality. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you imagine a storm, the spirits in you are literally in a storm right. and it's very uncomfortable right. for them right. <laughs> and they want you to imagine a storm because they suffer in the storm so we become but, like some sort of zeus or apollo up in the sky uh when we're thinking about things it happens on earth only when we're thinking about it it happens up in the obverse up in spirit world so if we've got some sort of a battle going on with spirits it's happening somewhere in another dimension Yes, yes. You you can imagine words in the world in the spirit, and in the spirit they get real. Mm. And this it depends on your ability to imagine, on your mental imagination power. And the better you can imagine, for example, spirits create dreams by imagination. Mm. Well, most of our our dreams are created by imagination of a spirit. Yeah. So I dream um, pictorially. Uh, pictorially, I see, I see pictures. I see visions when I dream. Um, uh, you see, Freud and Jung, they always used to speak about little dreams and big dreams. The little oh. dreams are the everyday stuff that's very just mediocre and doesn't really mean anything. The big dreams are something that are so vivid and so powerful and you know there's a message there. Um, and so I think most of us have little dreams and big dreams. Now, when I have um, these spiritual experiences, uh, my consciousness enters another level, like you say, the causal level, something like that. It's absolutely pristine, perfect, immaculate, beyond measure. And so I know that I can see, my consciousness can see. But in everyday dreams, it's all very, very grainy. It's about, it's like the low level in the astral, uh, dark and grainy and kind of like monochrome, a little bit about sapia, maybe brown and this and the other. But then there are occasions when I'll see beautiful uh, uh, colors and, you know, things like that. Um, and so the ability is there. And when I take psychedelics, I can see everything absolutely crystal clear. Uh, like DMT and, and mushrooms and all sorts of things. Um, and, and so I, I've always wondered um, about that. I don't recollect that I've ever been able to visualize things like that. Um, 
but then I I conclude well I I I seem to be better off because I've got more of a broader spectrum uh, because I'm not contained to one thing. I don't think I'd want that. That's not how I am. You know, I'm very platonic. Uh, with the ideas, think of a chair. I go, what sort of a chair? How would you like it? Do you want it making out of wood? Do you want it making out of gold? Do you want it making out of wicker? Do you want it making out of wire? Shall I make one for you out of grass or from pond reeds? What sort of a chair do you want? You know, I can go on and on and on and on and on, you know, as my mind just flows, you know, whereas other people, oh yeah, I see a chair, oh, it's wooden, it's this and that. Really? No, I don't want that. I, don't want I, also, that I also don't want that, and I don't do that. I only imagine if I really want it mm. intentionally, yeah, as, as a tool, as a spiritual exercise tool. Otherwise, not. I don't do it, but I know many people do it, especially women. So yeah. I heard it from them quite often when I'm talking about something. They say, like, I heard often, like, "Stop it! Stop it! I see all this uh, stuff in my mind. I see it. Oh, it's so yeah. overwhelming and it's too much." And <laughs> Stop it. I say, well, I see nothing, of course. I don't want it naturally. I yeah. don't do it. So I'm the same. Like, yeah. I, uh, when I um, was training to be a hypnotherapist, um, when you start reading and training to be um, a hypnotherapist, then uh, you are supposed to give guided um, hypnotherapy uh, to your clients and you speak them through visualization. And, um, you know, when I'm on one of these courses and, um, you know, um, I was all, always under the assumption that um, people were just using their imagination and they couldn't actually see anything because mine was completely black. But then it turned out that people do actually see staircases going down to beautiful beaches and this, that and the other, whereas my mind just builds up. Uh, the ideas of all these sort of things. And I can, like I say, build up a, 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 you know, a much more detailed picture, but I don't see anything specific. And I'm like, well, that, that's really bizarre because uh, if you see something specific, then how does your mind choose one particular beach over a billion potentials? How does your mind do that? That sounds more absurd than not seeing anything to me. Um, yes, I know what you mean. It's in some way absurd. In, in many cases, spirits are um, involved. And we, we see imaginative stuff they create for us according to what we want to imagine. Right. Because, of course, but of, of course, it's also a question of detail. So there are, of course, different grades of detail. You can imagine a staircase and um, you, I mean, you can do it consciously with certain elements. Then you say it's like that and that, and the rest is like blurry, mm. for example. Yeah. So all, normally the imaginations are not so clear. They are always blurry. Normally, they, but just when you get into it more and more and more, then they get more clear and clear. And there are normal, normally always a spirit is involved. Right. So when we uh, deal with mnemonics, um, you know, what? mnemonics. Mnemonic? What is yeah, this? Yeah, it, it's um, uh, the visualization of things to aid your memory. Uh, I guess. Mem, mem, I know this. 